Let out some sail! Spread those sheets! Sir, to the fore! Crowd on every inch of sail! Full sails! Well, I hang some to cargo the from a wreck over here, sir! Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found a Levet Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. This is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or... You could accompany me. Help me find La Verandry. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. I gather you have some history with our friend La Verandry? A history of instant loathing. I should have known not to trust my friends. ...to embrace such a wretch. My goodness, what could this fellow have done to inspire such enmity? I know him only as one of a family of explorers, extending the boundaries of the known world. From the brief encounters I've had with him, I can tell you he's an irascible person. That's a polite way of saying he's a cantankerous bastard. But do his actions surpass his words? I suspect history will believe so, my dear Cook. The actions not enter the history books in any case. Master Cook, how far south have you travelled? Did you hear oh, that? Not far. Only about Nantucket, really. Cannon fire. Deep within the fog. Could it be the Lavarondri? Perhaps. This is a secret expedition. They won't be keen to leave any witnesses to their voyage. Spread our wings to the wind! Let's 
man at sea. I, I think he's breathing. That's all I know! Sir, to the fall! Unfurl, mates! Let's oh, move! They hit us, sir! As much sail as you can! Loose capsules, gallants and royals! Andre must have stayed behind to stop us. No doubt volunteer for the job.
saw you think. So, cabbage farmer, are you still convinced the Templars are right? Convinced to the end. You bastard! Achilles and Liam have already headed north! Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good... Destruction. Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly... Um, interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. Yeah. Tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Lavette Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged.
Let out some sail! Blue Spencer! Spend your Spread our wings to the wind! Stunsel's out! Master Kenway! The La Verandry's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, 
With respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end, and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless. This would be beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of this ice is rather thin. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. I doubt he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That's bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassins would scarce recognize you. Come, let us enter their parlor. Our territory,
find another way. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. Shay was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood. 
Achilles and me, says the man who shot me in the back. At the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss! The undaunt! <laughs> Do I have to tell you, Liam? I make my own luck. How do you do that, you bastard? You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? 
Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nopskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here.
Otzo Berg, the big star of the Anime training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Buster Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid! Oh! Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! You have exceeded my every expectation. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. It's time to show the Brotherhood how weak they truly are. The modern-day Assassins are weak. It is only a matter of time before I catch the last of them and kill them. But it is not enough for them to die. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. I have no further demands to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. I am super impressed, Nobskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Duncan Walpole rose to the ranks to become a master assassin, but he was restricted by a brotherhood which chose to send him across the ocean to the West Indies, rather than find a way to nurture his potential. Once there, Duncan attracted the notice of Loriano Torres, former governor of Cuba and Templar Grand Master. Through their correspondence, Torres offered a less violent way to achieve their mutual goals by using precursor artifacts as a surveillance system 
rather than the murders and scheming favored by the Brotherhood. Sadly, Duncan was killed by a pirate before the Templars could help him achieve his potential. Although Duncan's story does not have a happy ending, it clearly demonstrates that the Templars' highest goals of peace and order need not exclude personal success and achievement. Sean Hastings was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. He was hours away from being killed by Abstergo when he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. Since then, the pair have been inseparable, 
providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2013, and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers, or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, an assassin version of Warren Vidic's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates and attempting to lure them to the assassin side. last chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Kill box is live. Thorkin's picking off the stragglers as they escape. Good. Proceed to stage two. All points, the word is given. Stage two is a go. I repeat, stage two is a go. Get those doors down. Three, two. Adriano Maestranzi. I have come for you. What's he holding? Vittoria, ugly assassin. Bob! Sigma team, anyone, do you copy?
No, no. It's it's a beautiful turn-based RPG. Eh, pass.